Hi, meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk uh, some mountain weather and ski conditions, but let's take stock of where we're at right now because the last storm for a while just moved through um, the Intermountain West, and uh, now it's going to be uh, spring skiing in full effect by this weekend in a lot of areas. So um, let's go with the uh, the totals. Uh, let me, if you can't see that, that's Jackson Hole at the top, almost at 500 inches, 498. Grand Targhees at 452, Alta at 432, and there's Revelstoke at uh, 369. You can see the other places on the list. And actually, we added some very nice snow in Colorado last night and early this morning, and it continues lightly up there. Um, but today, a good powder day in Colorado. Here's Berthoud Pass, and Berthoud Pass is one of the uh, more popular backcountry uh, jumping off points here in Colorado. And we got anywhere from five to eight inches of new snow at most of the resorts and most backcountry locations along the I-70 corridor. But that is Berthoud Pass right now. There's the storm. Look at the rest of the West, high and dry. Uh, but this is that last storm. I, I've been talking about this all week. Once this moves through Colorado, um, New Mexico and slides away, that's it for a while. You can see what's left. So it's really all a jet stream issue. Um, there's the dip in the jet bringing this storm through. But as this rolls ahead, watch what happens. Big ridging across the west. I mean, look at that. Clock's rolling. So here's Sunday morning. Finally, we start to see some action here off the west coast, a dip in the jet way out over the Pacific. So that'll potentially bring some action for next week. But that is a long way off at this point. And again, we're going to be, you know, this is more of an inflection point after this storm exits. It's spring skiing by this weekend with temperatures in the 40s and 50s at many base area ski locations, at the base areas of the ski uh, resorts across most of the west. It's going to be pretty warm. So here is our future radar, and I'll take us all the way out into the weekend so you can really see there's just not much here. Once that Colorado storm exits, boy, look at the west. Uh, this is Wednesday morning at 5. Uh, here's Thursday morning at 5. It becomes more of a Pacific Northwest target. You can see the snow up there, but it, it's kind of in and out of Whistler and, and uh, Banff for that matter. Um, so this is what, Friday at 5. There's a little southern sort of uh, wave that passes through southern Utah and southern Colorado, but there's not much with it. By Saturday morning, again, the flow is way up into Canada at that point, and here is uh, Sunday morning. Again, there's some snow there up in the, uh, the British Columbia area in the Pacific Northwest, but man, that is way far up there, and this is going to be a pretty long stretch of dry weather for the lower 48. So as far as snow amounts between today and tomorrow, there might be another inch in Colorado or so, but that's about it. I want to let this run. Uh, watch the animation. Any new snow is way up in British Columbia. Uh, this is by Sunday morning. I mean, you might have a little bit of new snow in Whistler and up towards Marmot Basin, but uh, it's going to be a pretty dry stretch. So we'll see how this all shakes out. I'll keep an eye on it this week, and I'll probably do a, maybe another update or two. But always appreciate you coming back here and tuning in. Take care. Have a good day.